just a short update on the uh, little chicken run I built for my friend in a little shared garden. Um, I've just um, taken out some of the wood chip um, that was sort of uh, being pushed through the bars outside and I've spread it out over this small area here and then I've made a couple of um, pallet collar beds there. Uh, the, the wood chip is fairly broken down put all that in there, some rough compost and then some some of the compost from my worm beds on the allotment just to top it up so there's nothing growing those at the moment, I just harvested potatoes and um, just thought it was a chance to add some organic matter there's plenty of worms in there so you can see there's a, a little immature robin there he's coming around, he's just getting his uh, orange and his little red breast so he's obviously seen some worms so it doesn't take them long, that's only been mulched half an hour anyway so um what i've got here these are some of the troughs that had comfrey growing on the allotment and i've just pushed some of the leaves through and obviously the, the hens have uh, taken quite a liking to that already so it's what i quite like as well because there's um reclaimed um sort of polythene sheeting from a uh, scaffolding from my like, building sites to sort of stop tools and things dropping off and, and sort of suppress the dust and things like that so that was just Balfour BT that was just in the skip so um, it's got a few holes in it but it keeps keeps most of the rain off but obviously when it does rain it runs down and it go into these little troughs here and it irrigate those plants <laughs> but it's funny though I just set these troughs up and there was a uh, four little hens all lined up all pecking away but what I thought it, it's quite nice as well it's a little bit of um, enrichment a bit of sort of stimulation because obviously they can reach some of the leaves they can't reach all of them um as they, these uh, plants are quite fast growing they're tough old things anyway so it's not going to do them too much harm but uh, in a way it sort of extends their little run as well so they can uh, can reach through and obviously um some of the leaves they'll they'll put their head through one of the bars because the bars are quite wide and they won't be able to reach them so they'll have to kind of use one of the other ones and obviously um, when they're digging as well, the, the wood chip and their, their manure will be pushed into these troughs and that will sort of feed, in turn feed the plants. So as you can see this one's uh, having a bit of a dig. So I've got some more comfrey around there and on the other side I've got the, um, that's just uh, crimson clover. So that's quite nice as well. And one thing as well, having the, the troughs as well, it, it offers a bit more protection from um, foxes in terms of digging. So I don't really like growing in plastic troughs, but this is quite a good use for them. Um, I just had those um, from a garden clearance job. I picked them up and just uh, wasn't really using them much on the allotment. I just had a bit of comfrey in there. So I, th I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll completely sort of surround that with um, uh, crimson clover, white clover, red clover borage comfrey and it's quite nice as well because it's like they've got their own little garden they can enjoy as well so when they're looking through they can see all the greeny greenery beyond but they've got some of it they can access and, and eat which I think is quite good I just uh, <laughs> it doesn't take them long what was surprising though because the if you can see the side of the run there where the, the mesh is fixed on, that's fixed onto this um, four inch piece of scaffold timber. Then there's a seam, then there's another four inches there. So this wood chip's four inches thick. And in the, the run, it, it, it was um, eight inches. It, it's gone down to about four because um, they push it out and it obviously composts down. Um, I had a little um, fork and I, I had a little sort of exploratory dig just to sort of see what was going on in there. Um, I'll just have a quick look. So this is fairly dry because obviously it's under cover. Surprising. Yeah, so it's uh, still fairty good. Just trying to peel down through bars. Yeah, so there's not much going on because it, it's dry. So in terms of their sort of uh, habitat, it's quite good because they can can dig around in there and have sort of dust baths and things like that. But on this one. It's kind of through. So 
this is open to the elements so this is you can see it's it's composting down yeah so you've got quite a few worms in there it's quite surprising i would have thought they'd be digging oh you're gonna eat that worm I don't see that interested really but i would have thought they would have dug a lot more of this up It's nice and damp. Yeah, you can see that's like that's pretty nice soil now. That's nice, isn't it? You know, not many worms. But that's perfect to use as mulch like that. Yeah, they're finding stuff. I'll leave a little hollow because then they can have a little dig around. I'm quite interested. This one's a bit... Well, that's got an evil look. That's an evil look, isn't it? That's not a normal head in that one. That's like a dinosaur. You know, like a Tyrannosaurus head. Look at that. Look at that one's... That one's got attitude. This, this is a little cockerel. He's supposed to be defending and he's friendly as anything. Look. He's like a little budgie. And this one's like a... Pterodactyl or something. Come on, come on in. Look, you're gonna go for me. You're gonna go for me. Look, look at that. Look, look, look. Whoa! Oh, you, you. Get off! Get off! I'm gonna close it now because you're getting getting aggy. That's a funny look, though, isn't it? Look at his eyes. Look at her eyes. Look at those eyes. You've got nice little friendly eyes. Look. Look. Well, that's awfully updated now, anyway. <laughs>